The last of the Harry Potter books will be released in less than two hours, and many people are anxious to read about the fate of their fictional friend. Cassie Limpert is live at Barnes & Noble. Cassie, there are Harry Potter parties all around the area tonight. Yes, Denny, they are. Uh, we have kids and adults of all ages here tonight, and they're piling in by the minute here. Um, we're at the Midnight Magic Party at Barnes & Noble, and uh, they're just so excited to read this next book. Now, uh, as you can see behind me, we have some people dressed in full wizard costume. Others are just dressed like muggles, but either way, everyone is more than ready to get their hands on a copy. Witchcraft and wizardry, muggles and magic. Ten years ago, Harry Potter took the world by surprise. It definitely is a phenomena that it has been a pleasure to be a part of, and really there is nothing to compare it to. And on Friday at midnight, all those anxious readers will finally get to learn what happens to their favorite hero. I'm going to read it all. Whole thing? From midnight to 4 o'clock. All the excitement is about Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows. Some were waiting by doors of Barnes & Noble at 6 o'clock Friday morning to get a numbered wristband. It's the store's way of making a little order out of chaos. At 11.30 p.m., people will line up in order of their wristbands to pick up their book. Kids will be all dressed up, um, they're just, and they're just running around with tons of energy. Um, and then, honestly, when it hits midnight and people are getting their books, it's just total mayhem. And it's just incredible. It's awesome. It's really cool to see. So. When the last Harry Potter book came out in 2005, more than 900 people showed up at a party at this Barnes & Noble so they could get their hands on a copy. With this next book being the last of the series, they're expecting even more. So that when the boxes are opened at the stroke of midnight, everyone's going to take their copy and disappear. And I think for kids it's very empowering, especially to identify with a character that's positive, that's... Uh, able to stand up. I mean, he's just ordinary, really, in so many ways. Everything about the book is a secret. There are large warnings on boxes of books, but the mystery just leaves more room for speculation. It's been fun talking, plotting evil things, what's going to happen in the book. I don't know. Hopefully everybody lives. Rumor has it two characters will die, but the magic of Harry Potter? That will never go away. Now, when the last book came out in 2005, Barnes & Noble sold over 1.3 million copies around the country. And uh, with a turnout like this in Duluth, I'm sure that with this next book, they are going to get even more. And I understand uh, there's also a Harry Potter party down at the depot tonight. Books are actually coming in and the caboose of a train. Yes, they are. Quite a night.